Stop thinking that you can't learn mathematics. Stop believing this because it's just not true. It's not. I've had a lot of students over the years, some of them extremely good at mathematics. You could show them something one time and they could reproduce a similar example like that, just like a sponge. And whenever I've worked with these people, I always think, wow, these students are so much better than I was when I was a student. I mean, just so much better, so much natural talent, it is unbelievable. And I would tell them that, and I don't know if they really, I mean, I'm sure they believe me, but it's a big deal when you have that ability and, and you decide to use it, you can learn a lot of mathematics. But there's some people that struggle more than others. And that's who this video is for. It's for those people who have a hard time with math, like a very hard time. And I've had students who are very poor at math, students who struggle to learn. And if I think back throughout all the years, some of the most memorable students I've had have been some of the students who were not good at math. I had a student once, she would come to campus every day and she would basically stay there all day. I think she had a job too at night. Like after she left campus, she'd go work somewhere, I think. But she would stay on campus all day. She was older, much older than me. And she struggled. She struggled. So she would come to my office almost every day. And I would sit with her and I would explain math. And so I would give her an example on the board, but then she couldn't do a similar example. So then I would do it again. And then she still couldn't do a similar example. And I am not exaggerating when I say that sometimes I would have to give her five, six, seven, maybe even eight examples of something very similar before she really got it. And you're probably thinking, this story has a happy ending. She would get it right on the test. No, sometimes she would get it wrong. But she wouldn't let it bring her down. She'd show up the next day, ready to work, ready to conquer. Despite her failure, she kept pushing forward. She knew that this is what she had to do and she was going to succeed no matter what, and that I respect. And that to me is like the definition of success. I'm getting goosebumps. So when people say they can't learn math, when they believe they can't learn math, I think of people like her. From her, I just feel like I draw so much inspiration because she worked so hard. If, if you take the work ethic uh, of that woman, and you give it to a student who is good at mathematics naturally, who is brilliant, you have a rock star. You have someone who is gonna publish papers. I mean, ridiculous. So stop believing that you can't learn math. Because again, I have seen people who are just not very good at it. For whatever reason, right? Whatever it is, they have a hard time learning it and they can do it. And it's not because it's not because you're dumb. So sometimes people think, oh, I'm not that smart. That's why I'm not good at math. It's not all about IQ and like raw intelligence, okay? It's about desire, motivation. It's about your background. Did, did you finish high school? Did you do a lot of math before this? You know, how much math have you seen up to this point? It's about mindset, you know, are, are, is this something you really want to do? It's about life distractions, you know, what's going on in your life? Are you able to focus? 
Do you have family problems? Do you have money problems? Do you have relationship problems? All of these things come into play when you're working on mathematics because in mathematics, you have to use your mind. You have to think. And so you need a clear head and you need your mind to be strong. And you also have to have the desire to do it. So yeah, stop, stop believing that you can't do it because you can. Again, I've seen, I've seen people just amazing, right? Amazing. I had these, these two guys once in a class. Uh, they were brothers. And on the first test, they got like a 41 or something. They, they both failed. It was horrible. Second test, I think they got C's. Third test, they got B's. Fourth test, they got A's. They got A's in the final. They got an A in the class. And I just saw them slowly just progress. It was like something out of like a, like a, like a story, right? So like they failed the first test. Every single test was incrementally better. You know, you can do it. You can learn mathematics, so stop thinking you can't. You know, think about that woman who ate examples and still couldn't get it. So it's possible. An another thing that I want to mention about this is when you believe that you can't do something, what happens is oftentimes it's, it starts to become a reality. It's like I was on Instagram this other day and there was this reel by this guy. Oh, he's, he's ridiculous. He's some salesman and he was going on um, telling people to say, I'm not tired, I'm not tired. He's like, say it again, I'm not tired. Say it again, I'm not tired. So he, would get, he was getting people to say, I'm not tired. You say something enough and it becomes true. You know, so if you start saying, I can do math, I can learn math, I got this. If you start to believe you can do it, it's like this self-fulfilling prophecy sometimes. It gives you confidence and it puts you in a mental state that tells you, yes, I can do this. Yes, I'm going to be awesome. I'm going to learn mathematics because it's what I want to do and I can do it. I believe that I can do it. The power of belief is incredible. The power of disbelief is destructive. The power of not believing in yourself is very, very bad. It's very bad. People who lack self-confidence in mathematics, oh, that's bad. And the problem is it, it, it's hard to build that self-confidence until you have a success. You know, if, if you're taking math now, you know, and you're just failing and you're just having a hard time, how, how are all of a sudden, how are you just going to say, hey, I believe I can do it. You know, I, I can do math. It's really hard because you haven't experienced success. If you have, Try to look back to that success you had, because you, you must have had some success, right? Somewhere along the line. Maybe you were better at math when it was easier. I used to tell people, because uh, I'm not really into sports, I'm not very good at sports. I play basketball, but I used to play baseball. Well, I used to be really good at t-ball, but then when the ball started moving, that was it. Right? And I think it's because I was a bigger kid and I was playing with the little kids, so maybe that's why I was good at t-ball. I don't know. The point is, I had that success at t-ball. So mentally, I can say, oh, I was really good at t-ball. Why can't I be better at baseball, right? So, so find that success in math. Maybe you were good in pre-algebra, but when you got to trig, game over. And a lot of times, a lot of people who don't have this belief, this uh, lack of confidence in their ability is created by one negative experience. They'll, they'll take a class that they don't like, and maybe it's the teacher, maybe it's the subject, maybe they weren't ready for it, and they will let it bring them down. I've gotten so many emails over the years from people who say stuff like, oh, when I was in high school, I had this teacher, and he was really bad, or she was really bad, and she made me hate math. And then I get the other ones too, where it says, oh, when I was in high school, I had this teacher, he or she was really great, they made me love math. So you get these, these stories from people in the past, like, oh, when I was in high school, XYZ made me love math, or XYZ made me hate math. Try to find that story in your life where it made you love math. You know, look back and try to find a place where you had that success. And when you can find that success, you, you can build upon it, right? Focus on the positive 
And that's a, that's a hard thing to do for people because as human beings, you know, if we have a negative experience and we have a positive experience, we're more likely to be affected by the negative one. It's just how we're wired. So you kind of have to rewire your brain and just really, really try to focus on the positive. Believe in yourself, believe in yourself. I was, I was lucky. I mean, I was really lucky because I, it's, it's almost unfair. I was so lucky because when I, when I took my, my first test in college, I was in a, it wasn't even intermediate algebra, it was pre-algebra. And I remember I got a 100% on that test. I remember getting back the test the teacher says, 100%, congratulations. And I was like, whoa. And there was this girl in front of me and she looked at me and smiled. And then I got on the elevator and the girl looked at me and she said, congratulations. And I was like, oh, thank you. I was really nervous. I was like, oh, thank you. I was just, you know, just very nervous. <laughs> I was very nervous. Not used to, you know, being congratulated by a girl or, you know, being in an elevator. I, I don't know, the whole, being in college. I was very, very nervous. So, uh, and I was very happy. I was like, wow, I got an A. So I had that. I had that that immediate reward, which gave me a huge advantage over her or all the people. I mean, she ended up, she ended up failing the class. It was, a, it was a combined class and you had to pass the first part of the class to continue. There was a test. She failed the test. So one day she was sitting in front of me and then one day she was gone. Never saw her again. I don't know what happened to her, right? Just disappeared. So yeah, kind of dark kind of dark, but she didn't have that first success, right? You have to have that success. And if you don't have it, you have to look for it. So try to find something in your life where, you know, you had that success and you can use that. You know, something you really understood. Maybe you really like something in math. And, and yeah, I really like logarithms, which most people don't, but let's just say you really love logarithms. That's a good thing. Or maybe you're really good at solving quadru quadratic equations, whatever it is, right? Whatever it is, whatever it is, build on that and use that to build some self-confidence and start believing in yourself and believe that you can learn mathematics. And I know it's hard because if you haven't had it, if, if you haven't had that, that success, and, and if you're looking back, you're thinking, ah, it's just been terrible. I've never had any success in life. In that case, I'm not sure what to say. <laughs> so, but I'm sure you can find something somewhere that you can build upon because you need that, right? And that's how you build self-belief. That's how you build self-belief. It's kind of like, you know, people who are successful in, sometimes you look at people and they're, they're successful in every aspect of life. Like you look at them and they're like, wow, that person is really smart. That person um, is in very good shape. Um, that person has a good job. That person has good relationships. Uh, that person has good friends. That person has good family. These people who seem to have perfect lives, well, first of all, no one's life is perfect, but they believe in themselves, right? They have self-confidence. They focus on the positive. They build friendships. They go to work. They have a good job. They make money. They have relationships. They, they have a family. These people focus on the positive and believe in themselves because if you don't believe in yourself, you're, you're, not, gonna, you're not gonna get anywhere. So stop believing you can't learn math. And if you want to learn math, by the way, I have courses. I should mention that. They're on Udemy, but if you get them, use my links, mathsorcerer.com. It helps me and I've lowered the prices. Also, if you found any value in this content, feel free to hit subscribe if you want to. And I have another channel. Uh, it's called The Internet Sorcerer. I just post random stuff. Key takeaway from this video is that you should stop believing that you can't learn math. You can learn math. You can learn anything, right? You just have to want to learn it and you have to believe that you can learn it. Belief is powerful. You can learn. Go do some mathematics.